Vimeo for the video. Da -na -na -na. Hi and welcome to Vimeo. We're going to have a little bit more of a in-depth conversation. The divine law of love and justice is doing its perfect work in this situation now for the highest good for all concerned. Not only so, but we also rejoice in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces endurance and perseverance. Romans 5, 3. My voice is a bit rusty because I've been um, not talking for a few days. Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Matthew three twelve. Now I'm saying these words because we're at a crucial time, twins. This is serious. It's so serious um, that the second wave of ascensions hit and we've, we've already hit critical mass. So we're already like spiraling towards the fifth dimension. The matrix is collapsing and you need to get out mentally and anchor into the new dimensional crystal grid of Gaia or you will be here for the tribulation. I don't know why I'm saying that. It's a sacrament of confirmation, 144,000, chapter 7 to the 14 in Revelations in the Bible. Please read it. Advanced Darcy's, which will have um, a coming out of long mental and spiritual slumber. We have to be calm and anchored to hold this vibration. They're awakening to their mission. They're coming out of the great hibernation, the transformation of earth, the cellular memories. Oh, Got goosebumps. The cellular memories were programmed and timed and triggered to go off at this time to release true identity. We have reached this critical time in the mission. That's why I'm starting these um, readings at Vimeo. I've got goosebumps all over me. Big deep breath. The eyes of the entire galaxy are upon us. It's a galactically serious mission. It's the biggest mission in the last 200,000 years. The 144,000 join with heaven in declaring Earth's final warning for the last generation. This is Earth's final warning for the last generation and we're declaring it. Oh, we're going to now go into the tarot, have a look what exactly is going on with the twins and this is the format I'll be doing for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. So these are the... The Love Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. And um, they, they just came out as well as the Crystal Angels. So we're just asking for a message here for the Twin Flames. Then I'm going to do some snatch, snapshots on the energy and what you're, you know, up against. So this is expectancy. Something you've been hoping for may not come about as you had expected. Observe the image on this card without trying to understand it. Simply allow its energy, colour and vibration to fill you. Know you are being filled with the infinite power of love. Your fixed expectations may be blocking you and delaying the arrival of something far more beautiful. Surrender and trust are required. Something far beyond your expectations will soon manifest. What a beautiful message. Wow. I thought it was going to say because, you know, what you it's expectation, what you expect you get. So this is not, it's really about surrender. And underneath is sacred union. This is sacred, meaning the spiritual is already connected and it's um, indestructible, right? It's actually indestructible, impenetrable, <laughs> This connection. So when you think of it, not so much because we're only in 5% of reality, yeah? So, you know, it's like getting out of making everything mean something down here in 3D and analysing it because it stops the flow, right, of it coming through. Through a touch, word or glance, you find your beloved. A current friendship blossoms and transforms into a physical and spiritual relationship. Through the magnetism of divine love, you merge with another and love becomes an all-embracing thought. This is your season of love, a time for romance and happiness. You are a beautiful soul looking within and you will see it. There is a pearl in your heart. Close your eyes and feel it. Within each other, you discover love's infinite spiritual realm. It's so beautiful, the energy and the feeling. So clearing your heart 
and asking Jesus um, to help you with who do you need to forgive, you know, and then help, ask him to help you release any pain from past lives. Mother Mary, full of grace, open my heart and my eyes so I see the answer before me now. That's if anything's troubling you and you need some clarity. Mother Mary, full of grace, open my heart and my eyes so I see the answer before me now. I now accept your healing intervention that I may have my divine destiny in service. My heart opens and receives you now. So Mother Mary just came in and you get initiated in um, the rose ray of healing as we go through my master 10 packs and that's very exciting. So everything will be done in group up until your masters um, and I'll be working closely with the masters that have done my workshops and that you're at master level because we're bringing in um, the threefold flame, it's the twin flames. The violet flame is in your auric field and it's being activated. The blue rays are ignited and united and then the indigo worries are coming online which activates the crystals and then the rainbows and then all star seeds ignite and that's the, that's the shift, right? So it's like when that happens, that's when we're called into service as twin flames. When you only pray when you are in trouble, you are in trouble. Fast in silence and God reward, rewards you in public. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. That Proverbs 3, 5a, God's love can break down all barriers. So we're needing to do that because it's a vertical ascension and ascension is just a change of vibration. And we're moving out of the 5% of reality we're living in and we're moving into a higher vibration, a finer one that doesn't have that low vibration of grief, worry, doubt, persecution, fear. So that was the mission to come in and, and take on a human heart because that's the only way you can transform it is by coming back to the level of it. So that's why you release the healing through feeling. And this is um, a time where you can't come back and learn it again. The karmic residue, it doesn't have anywhere to escape because there's too much light and it's a 26,000-year cycle coming to an end. We're going into a new age and you're down here front row doing it all, right? So it's like everybody's watching. To think we're on our own is ridiculous. Whoa, we just had the Queen of Cups come out. So I'm going to also... Um, Lady Venus has just arrived, so if you would like to activate your soul star chakra with her and bring the love of your soul into your being, we just ask her now, dear Lady Venus, we call upon you now, give you permission and ask to release the love of our soul by activating our soul star chakra and releasing the love of our soul deep into my being. So just receiving your soul, trying to connect from your crown chakra to your soul star chakra. Now, when you do that enough, you get initiated and then you get the sphere of knowingness. It's very beautiful. So we have the, the Queen of Cups. This is about balancing your emotions, also knowing that you're getting downloads, your intuition's off the charts, very highly, highly, unbelievably ultra sensitive. Right, So if you're not wanting to go in crowds or shopping centres or, you know, mix with um, harsh personalities or environments or relationships, don't make it mean something's wrong with you. Just go, I'm in a part of isolation that maybe this is working for me, this isolation. So this is how you get, I'm being trained with um, the Holy Spirit as well to think, what if it was working for me? And get my thoughts on board with that of the vibration instead of worrying about things being against us. This is just a snapshot on twin flames. Oh, my gosh. This is union, okay? So this is the mental body and the emotional body, if you like. So the, in these readings, because you've, you've purchased, right, you've elected yourself. So I'm going to teach you about also, um, this is also the spiritual realm because it comes down. So in, that's like a, being a Reiki master. And here is the um, emotional happens at Reiki level two. So this is a master level, right, balance of yin and yang. But it shows up in um, physical um, security and overwhelming happiness, security and happiness so here the energy around the twins is this isolation persecution disconnection 
right? And um, this could be the valley of um, grief. It's not. That just showed me that's the cups. So this is, yeah, it's disconnection from spirit. You know, this is um, depression. And also the depression comes up because there's anger. And the anger gets pushed down to hurt. And then the hurt goes back down and comes back up as depression. So this is that pain and hurt being stored in here is now being released. And that's the energy around because we go from the five of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. So it's like that. That's what this quantum, it's a quantum shift. And this is the vibration I'm bringing you to help you shift into it. Because we've got one final shift and that's it. We're going to be in the fifth dimension and... Um, you know, if you're not, you're going to be in what's called the tribulation. So here is about getting really clear on your thoughts, getting really strict on what energy and thoughts that you allow into your energy field, your presence, right, because it's a vibration and the healing. This is also connecting to your light tribe. So we're plugging in now because Ashtar commands here. I call him Commander Ashtar. He's head of the Palladians and he is asking you to know that they talk to you and connect with you telepathically. So all you have to do is give permission and talk to your galactic brothers and sisters and just in your mind's eye say connect me. There's a, um, a DNA upgrade here for the twins. DNA serious upgrade. It's like a uh, microchip upgrade to the Pentium 2 million. <laughs> Pentium 2 million in your mind, the way you think and perceive and the way that you can actually balance this yin and yang, giving and receiving, right? So this is clarity, mental clarity coming in, which is what is needed to balance. So this is saying that the first you know, awakened, illumined twins have balanced the feminine energy and that has given birth to the masculine energy but it's still needing to connect to get to the 12 strand DNA and then we go to 144 strands. So underneath that is what lights you up, right? And that will help connect you to spirit, getting your passion reignited and asking God to send down Jesus, send, connect you. So that's why we connect to our soul star. And then really, if you would just give permission for God to come in and request his presence to, you know, you have to request because the universal law of free will. So there's been a huge karmic cycle that has shifted and it's balanced the feminine energy out and then it's bringing clarity to the mental body because it's going to be far better than you could ever expect it to happen, the way it happens. So we now breathe out and release how-tos and um, control. <sighs> and we release the need to control this relationship in any way to the healing light of divine love. I just did that because of the full moon coming up. Now we're talking about rose quartz, rose oil, 528 frequency, love signal, doing your Reiki mastership, then you become the pillar of love because once you're attuned to Reiki, you become the pillar and then after you practice and bring Jesus in, you become the vibration of love. But you can't be the vibration of love with any pain, doubt, fear, trauma. But that's the mission to, re to change it over, a message from your Lord and Saviour, Ephesians 6 verse 10, finally be strong in the Lord and his mighty power, put on the full armour of God against the devil's schemes, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore put on the full armour of God so that when the day of evil comes, you will be able to stand your ground. So we need to know what that is because we are in the rescue plan for the human race. Ephesians 6, 11, 18, I put on the full armour of God, helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, shoes of peace, shield of faith and sword of the spirit. Wow, twins. Let's go to the mythic tarot now and have a look at the Twin Flame Collective and what's going on in your relation, whoa, relationship. 
So this this just flew out. So this is about not doing anything that um, lacks integrity and, you know, maybe um, letting logic go and asking the Holy Spirit and, you know, the angels, Archangel Michael, to bring in a belief system that supports your, you know, ascension process. This is just saying, look, he's like, I don't think I want to do that. This is like somebody asking you to do something that goes against your moral code, but they're offering you money. So it's like, oh, I don't know about that, right? Because you can make your own money. So there's a test coming up, even with your twin flame of what you will and won't put up with. It's like, it doesn't matter. I'm here doing due diligence on my own heart first so that uh, you don't have the power to hurt me because I'm not going to allow it. So I'm not going to allow you to um, degrade me by your behavior and then resent you for it. That's the old paradigm. I'm just going to say no, even though it's hard and tough up front. So let's have a look at, we're looking at boundaries in your connection. And we're looking at, what was the other thing? Boundaries and... Um, Action. Is there any action? So let's have a look. Thank you for joining me. It feels really, really nice here. This energy is fantastic. So um, this is a victory. This is Jason and the Argonauts, right? He's, he's got the golden fleece. So he has the balance in the, in the um, physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, right? They're like the four... Um, Earth, air, wind, fire, and the four elements in the tarot. And they match perfectly with Reiki. That's why I'm bringing it all together here for you. So justice. Wow. So that's um, karmic balance, getting out of the karmic loop. I just heard. Out of the karmic loop. So a lot of you are ascending. And this is the Excalibur sword bringing down the truth. It's a vibration. Right, you can tell when somebody's lying to you because it's a vibration. So just try to get out of the he said, she said, this happened, that happened, and just feel in your body vibration. And that's why we do Reiki because we need to cut all cords of fear that are draining our health and vitality now. We ask Archangel Michael, whoa. Okay. <clears throat> so some of you have hit the deck. Hit the deck. Right, Ten of Swords, Death Card. Right, King of Pentacles underneath and the marriage. Wow. Sort of like a supersonic res resurrection, isn't it? They don't match the energy here. So this is coming up. This is the Phoenix. Oh, wow. Okay, I just have to show you this. This is the outcome is better than you can possibly imagine or expect. That's why your vibration, like our vibration can't receive it. We have to lift it. And that's all I keep being told just get your vibration up it's coming it's coming otherwise you you're at the low vibration right say i have a scale of one to ten if you're at a two and what's coming in is the expectation of is a two then that's what you receive but the, what is being presented is at a ten ten of cups so this is serious commitment once the divine masculine comes out of the cave the connection is imminent and very very powerful so You've got to get anchored to be able to bring it down because it's, that's coming through the mental and the emotional to be anchored. So that's an anchoring. So there's lots of unions and this is twin flames. So what's happening is divine masculine energy is going through and awakening the divine feminine within. And then the phoenix is rising from the ashes. Do you see that? So this is the end cycle that's where the grief has the pain the hunched over the waves of grief then the anger and look the knight of wands comes up so this is a resurrection because of right the divine feminine energy igniting and that's like goodbye splat call that splat that's like watching the egg roll off the counter splat it's like that's done that relationship's done as it stands in that energy over it's over so that's where the surrender is so you can allow it to come through because what comes after this is the ace. <gasps> the ace. We've got the ace. Wow, that's so fast transformation. Very, very fast, right? And this is the um, walking through that dark sort of um, tunnel. We can't really see the ends and that's the dog leg. Dog's leg we've been through. Some of you are still going through it. Don't worry. It's You're safe. 
just keep saying, I am safe, because you're, you're going to come out there a different person. That's like the chrysalis state, you know, with the butterfly. And this is the um, cracking of the butterfly, cracking. These are the Jezebel spirits. These demons are real in frequency, right? They come in on a band of frequency, and it's called demonic streaming, and it's very, very serious, and it comes through your devices. So this is you cutting out, taking on the Excalibur sword and bringing it down. Well done. Rising from the ashes and bringing down Excalibur. Wow, look at that as well. This transformation is happening this full moon. I've got goosebumps all over me. No wonder it took me three days to get ready for this reading. And then look. There's an anchoring of that masculine divine energy here, anchoring it into the earth. What a beautiful outcome. Twin flames. We're going to say the word of God is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It can divide soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Revelation 1.16, out of his mouth came a sharp double-edged sword. Wow. So I have experienced that in a um, astral plane. Excuse me. Just to take my jacket off. Where I spoke um, the name Jesus Christ and it divided a soul tie from my soul. Wow. In the name of Jesus. We're going to get a message now from your twin flame. Your beloved one. So we'd, let's not do labels. Let's not go out there, you know. Talk about relationships, friendships, you know, whatever that. That's all labels out there. Twin flame, soulmate. It's all out there. Your soul, right, and your heart knows who your twin is. So let your mind relax. It's energy. It's all vibration. Let's get a message now from this huge transformation that you're going through. It's epic. It's a rescue plan for the human race. This is your mission. And I'm here to tell you God loves you very much and you're not alone. You're never alone. Blue rays are getting together. I just heard blue rays. Two hearts merge through an explosion of love. United they create unlimited wealth. Together they fulfill their dreams. This is togetherness. Yep. Love is the expression of God or goddess flowing through you. Love is a sacred union, a great creative power, which through the merging of two souls becomes an explosion of the divine. So I'm going to um, also recommend that you go to the Divine Masculine um, playlist and listen to sonic geometry so you understand what I'm talking about. The whole of the universe is vibration. You are loved more than you consciously know. Share your insecurities with the one you love. You will be surprised and reassured by their reaction. Love is all around you. Release what no longer serves you. Um, thank you for joining me. We ask God to bless you in magical, wonderful ways. For Kuan Yin to descend upon you now with her um, compassion with her opalescent mist of healing light and let you bathe in it day and night as long as you need. We thank you, Father, from whose word all things came to be and we bless you. Thank you for supporting me, bringing you these messages. I love you. Look me up. I'm ReikiByBella.com and you get a reading with me and you'll have a one, two and three activations and then you can anchor and pull through this um, ascension. We are on the wave of a lifetime. Open your heart and let yourself in. I love you. Thanks for watching and bye for now. This is a process.